Svelte 5 is now in the release candidate phase. 19 hours ago, the team from Svelte announced that their latest version of Svelte is now in the RC phase. In this video, I'm going to go through all the changes that we are expecting in this release, a quick demo and how you can start using Svelte 5. Svelte has been a popular choice of language among developers along with SvelteKit which uses Svelte under the hood. Svelte is fast, it has no virtual DOM unlike React and Angular, it has an easier learning curve and it is truly reactive by default. On September 20th last year, the Svelte team announced that they are working on this new version of Svelte in which they are thinking reactivity. They call this version Rune which equates to a letter or a mark used as a mystical or magical symbol. Since that update, a lot of us are waiting on further news on when this version will be released. Svelte yesterday announced that Svelte 5 is now in the RC phase, which means that the design of the framework is almost ready, with no anticipated breaking changes. That does mean it's not ready for production yet and things may change, but we can now use this new version and try it out ourselves. A few changes in this new version include less boilerplate and more more flexibility, better component composition with a lot of help of snippets, native TypeScript support even inside your markup. The biggest change however is reactivity. Svelte is now using signals for reactivity and signals are not new. Signals have been popularized by SolidJS and even Angular is now using signals but it all started with Knockout.js who initially implemented the concept. This is how a simple increment function in Svelte looks like. We have two variables at the top over here and then we have a simple function that changes the items in card by one. After that, we have this remaining variable, which is derived from the change of values of total items and items in card. And that is a reactive variable in Svelte 4. And this is how we define reactive variables. We use the dollar symbol and that'll tell the Svelte compiler that this is a reactive variable. After that, we have this on click event and it's a weird notation and that has been fixed in Svelte 5 as well. On click of this event, we will call the add to cart method and that will change the quantities of the items in the cart and it will also reactively change the remaining items that we have. Svelte has also released the playground for their latest version which is Svelte 5 and I'll give the link to this playground in the description of this video. Now over here we can copy everything that we have in Svelte 4 application and we can directly paste it in the Svelte 5 application and everything should work fine. The changes that we are expecting in Svelte 5 are that the variables have to be declared as signals and that is using the dollar sign. So dollar state and you can also give a initial value. After that the changes will be in the derived variable which is the remaining one and dollar is not allowed anymore. So we are making that obsolete in this latest version and we will use the derived keyword and the derived keyword will basically compute the value of whatever we are giving to, to it and this we can give it to the variable that we are creating. For example, over here, we want to create the remaining variable and that is being derived from the values of total items and items in card. The other change in here is also the on click event. We no longer need this colon in between and you can just write on click directly. And now the function works as expected. The JavaScript output of this version is very clean and the signals behind the scene get converted to get and set methods. It's easy to say that with swell five changes, we are going to say goodbye to a lot of unconventional stuff that was happening in Svelte 4. You can use the Svelte version using npm create Svelte at latest, or you can add the Svelte 5 to an existing application using npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev Svelte at next. We still don't know when Svelte 5 will go to production, but needless to say that Svelte 5 looks exciting, offers a bright future ahead, and it'll be worth the wait. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next one.